Good day, everybody. This is a great day to be alive. And you know, God does all things well. He's the King of kings, and he's the Lord of lords. And he loves us more than we ever know. All he wants us to do is to love him back. Love him back. All right, we're going to start off in prayer. Uh, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. Lord, thank you for this opportunity to spread your word, God, and spread your gospel. For you told us to go into the nations and spread the gospel. And Lord, remember our leaders, that they make the right decisions, God, and convict their hearts, that they obey you, Lord. And Lord, remember the people in the jails, the prisons, the drug and alcohol and treatment centers. And Lord, remember the sick. The people in the hospitals and the nursing homes and the shut-ins, Lord. And Lord, please remember the lost and the backslider. And we bind the strong man right now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. All right, we're going to read this evening out of the book of Matthew chapter 9. Matthew chapter 9, read now the King James Version. Matthew chapter 9. All right, and he entered into a ship and passed over and came into his own city. And behold, they brought to him a man sick of the palsy, lying on a bed. And Jesus, seeing their faith, said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, be of good cheer, thy sins be forgiven thee. And behold, certain of the scribes said within themselves, this man blasphemeth. And Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, Wherefore think ye evil in your hearts? For whether it is easier to say, Thy sins be forgiven thee, or to say, Arise and walk. But that ye may know that the Son of Man hath power on earth to forgive sins, then saith he to the sick of the palsy, Arise, take up thy bed, and go unto thine house. And he arose and departed to his house. But when the multitude saw it, they marveled and glorified God, which had given such power unto men. And as Jesus passed forth from thence, he saw a man named Matthew, sitting at the receipt of custom, and he saith unto him, Follow me. And he arose and followed him. And it came to pass, as Jesus sat at meat in the house, behold, many publicans and sinners came and sat down with him and his disciples. And when the Pharisees saw it, they said unto the disciples, Why eateth your master with publicans and sinners. But when Jesus heard that, he said unto them, They that be whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. But go ye and learn what that meaneth, I will have mercy and not sacrifice. For I am not to come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Then came to him the disciples of John, saying, Why do we and the Pharisees fast off, but the disciples fast not? And Jesus said unto them, Can the children of the bride chamber mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come when the bridegroom shall be taken from them, and they shall fast. No man putteth a piece of new cloth into an old garment, for that which is put in to fill it up taketh from the garment, and the rent is made worse. Neither do, new men, do men put new wine into old bottles, else the bottles break, and the wine runneth out, and the bottles perish, but they put new wine into new bottles, and both are preserved. While he spake these things unto them, behold, there came a certain ruler and worshipped him, saying, My daughter is even now dead. 
but come and lay thy hand upon her, and she shall live. And Jesus arose and followed him, and so did his disciples. And behold, a woman which was diseased with the issue of blood for twelve years came behind him and touched the hem of his garment. For she said within herself, If I but touch his garment, I shall be made whole. But Jesus turned him about. When he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith hath made thee whole. And the woman was made whole from that hour. And when Jesus came into the ruler's house and saw the minstrels and the people making a noise, he said unto them, Give place, for the maid is not dead, but sleepeth. And they laughed him to scorn. But when the people were put forth, he went in and took her by the hand, and the maid arose. And the fame hereof went abroad unto all the land. 